welcome back. Today we are going to be talking all about the new releases from Glossier. They have been really crushing the game on getting new releases out this year so far. We have gotten eyeshadows, we have gotten mascara, and now they have reformulated the Perfecting Skin Tint. If you guys are familiar with this product, you will know it doesn't have the best wrap. A lot of people associate it with the kind of no makeup makeup, like literal no makeup makeup. So they did increase the pigmentation on this and also the lasting quality of it, and so it is supposed to wear a little bit longer. Very excitingly, we have new cloud paint shades, you guys. We now have Storm and Dawn. They didn't say this explicitly, but my good friend Devin Kiel over at Glossier Brown articulated on her Instagram that these are far better, whether it was intended or not, these are far better for people of color and darker skin tones, and the older shades were a little bit ashy on the skin. While I have seen swatches of these on every skin tone, apparently these are better for deeper skin tones, so that is fantastic. Good on Glossier. So today we are going to be putting all of this on my face. I also finally bit the bullet and bought the gloss. I'm going to be swatching these new cloud paint shades against the old cloud paint shades so that you guys can see for comparison, at least on my skin tone, I don't have all of them. I'm missing one. I don't know which one it is. You guys will get to see a good little spectrum there. And let's go ahead and jump in, guys. All right, gotcha, moved in. And we are going to go in on this face here. I have swatched this so far, but I have not used it yet. And I have also been reading the Slack channel for the Glossier reps. And apparently this really does pack a pigment punch. So I'm going to go ahead and go like Instagrammy on you guys and just do this. I have my Glossier sunscreen on, the invisible shield. I have my skincare on, which is Sunday Riley. And where did I just get that? I just got that on my shirt. It's fine. All right, we're going to go fingers here because that is really the suggested way of applying Glossier products using the warmth of your body and your hands. I'm trying to do this in my viewfinder so you guys can sort of see the blend in real time. So, what do we think? I definitely think it feels different than the old skin tint. The old skin tint was super, super thin, and this does have a little bit more viscosity to it. While I still have that very sheer Glossier experience happening on my face right now, I can still see my freckles, I can still see the imperfections and stuff, I still think that that is a more agreeable level of coverage for what I would expect for paying for a product. It evened my skin tone out. Crash. It color corrected a little bit. I think that that's really pretty. Like, I would just leave the house like that. That's fine with me. So, we're going to next go in with some concealer. And this is the Stretch Concealer from Glossier. And I love this stuff. I mean, they didn't reformulate this. I just really like it. We're going to go, I think, for a little bit more look today than usual. This isn't just going to be a full face of Glossier. I'm going to go for a liner and some different mascara. I'm going to be honest. I love the Glossier mascara, but I just love Thrive more. The Thrive rinses off cleaner and doesn't spread across my face over the course of the day. There's something about the Glossier mascara that if you wear a full face of Glossier but not powder, the mascara will still kind of creep underneath your eyes. And that drives me crazy. While I think it's beautiful and I think that it is a really, really good mascara for the price, I still just prefer the look and the performance of the, the Thrive Mascara. I just don't know what's ever going to shake me loose from that. I am minstrel right now, so I've had a couple of sort of hormonal zits, but all things considered, I'm sitting pretty on the skin situation. Really can't say enough about my Sunday Riley regimen. I love it so much. It is so worth the price. Okay, concealer. You good, girl. Thoughts on the perfecting skin tint? I could see wearing that every day. I would say it's about half as much coverage as a Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. It is low, low key. But if you are the kind of person who is really looking for some low, low key makeup, I would say that they have vastly improved the formula here and I really, really like it. 
I did shake it a good bit first off camera, so I would definitely recommend doing that so you don't end up with kind of a waterier consistency. We're going to go in with some wouter on my visage. I'm going to kind of go all over. The beauty of the wouter, and I say this I think every time, but I really appreciate that I can put it all over my face and it doesn't necessarily go totally, totally matte. And the cloud paint is amazing because it can go on top of powder. You have to use a sponge. Like I definitely use a sponge for doing that. I wouldn't then rub my fingers all over a powder, but if you just kind of blot it on top of the skin, it works really nicely. All right, no complaints so far. I think my face looks pretty. <laughs> I think my face looks pretty. All right, let's go ahead and get some swatches going here before I start placing this on my face. Here we have the swatches. So this is Dusk, Puff, Beam, Dawn, and Storm. So Dusk has always been kind of a bronzer shade for me. The Puff has always been a little bit too pink for me. I prefer Beam on me from kind of the older ones. The new one here, I'm running out of fingers, is a far more poppy shade, which is very, very pretty, I think. And then this, I think, is, again, a really nice tone for deep skin tones, but we are going to kind of use both on me today. And I'm going to do what I always do, kind of put this on the back of my hand, and I'm going to take a beauty sponge, and I'm using the Real Techniques beauty sponge just because it was the one that I had. I know it doesn't look clean, but it is clean. I always kind of blot it out on the back of my hand so that I don't end up kind of placing a whole bunch of color in one place on my face at once. into grandma's makeup. That is what that looks like on me. Let's try Storm because these apparently are just surprising the heck out of me. Who knows, maybe Storm will look amazing because I thought that Dawn was going to look flattering and she doesn't. This is our nice plummy shade. <laughs> I might be doing a full wash off here in a minute. That at least agrees with the undertones in my skin. Yeah, like take that out of context. It's kind of pulling at least similar undertones out of my lips. So we all are a little surprised here today, aren't we? Or maybe you guys saw that coming. I have no idea, but I'm gonna just. <clears throat> We are very much troubleshooting live here. But at least now you know that this is a real first impressions video because uh, I really, I didn't see that coming. That was just not my shade. So I hope that that was helpful maybe for you guys to be like, oh wow, I thought that Dawn was gonna be my shade, but I have khaki skin tone and that doesn't work at all. But Storm is a beautiful kind of rosy color when it all gets spread out. And that is a buildable product. So, I mean, if you do have a deeper skin tone, you can kind of build it up and it doesn't start rolling off the face or anything like that. Oh, wow, 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 wow. You guys, I really like that. Actually, let's put on just a little bit more and then I need to touch this concealer back up under that eye because I just wiped that whole side of my face off. I think that that is like ultimate pale girl mauve. It's a really pretty diffused kind of warm, burgundy, rosy, pulls the mauve out of my lips though, like in a really nice way. And I could see wearing that into fall. It's just a very pretty kind of natural flush color. Very, very pretty. I'm always afraid when I make these videos with Glossier that it's not gonna be helpful because I just kind of resoundingly love everything. You know, I'm gonna be like, well, this is all really great. Great job, Glossier. And it's just gonna come off like a commercial. I surprised myself. 
Glossier surprises me, and I think that this is now a very valuable experience so that you guys can see sort of what these actually are like in action. So, um, Storm is my new favorite. I like Storm better than my OG Beam. Not gonna lie. They do look really pretty together. I bet you could probably layer them, but like, I want to wear this every day. This is so, so freaking pretty. I, I, I love that. I love that so much. And they did do a really good job of making it not ashy. Ashy being not something that typically happens to me. But Puff, for example, comes off so pale that you can actually see almost like a white in the pigment instead of it being a really pretty wash of color. And this is nailing that wash of color effect. I wonder what would happen if we put a little bit of it on my lips because I was not anticipating this being such a flattering kind of deep color on me. Yeah, that gives us something for the gloss to go on top of. So that's nice. Nice little kind of blotted situation without it being totally overwhelming on my face. At least I hope it's not totally overwhelming on my face. All right guys, so I'm going to throw on some brows and some eyeball nonsense and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are going to go in now with a little bit of the Glossier lip gloss. And this is what she looks like. Super glossy, but thick enough that it doesn't feel like it's going everywhere. It's not oily. I personally have a huge pet peeve with my hair sticking to my mouth. Less is more when it comes to really glossy lip gloss. So if my eyes look a little bit pale around them, it's the lights. I have a little bit of powder around my eyes because it might have taken roughly 14 tries to get my eyeliner to look right. And so I had to wipe it off a lot and then I had to put makeup back on top of it. So, I mean, that is just a lack of skill on my end. So you guys, this is easily, hands down, my favorite Glossier look that I have ever produced on my face. I have to be totally honest with you guys. As a 31 year old human being who has suffered with acne for so, so long, it took a really long time for me to feel confident wearing a full face of Glossier. There are a lot of moving parts here, but most things have been improving recently. One being my skin, I've done a lot of work on that. And two, these products, I really appreciate that Glossier is becoming more of a brand for everyone. I don't necessarily think that it was ever their intention to not be a brand for everyone, but people are naturally going to gravitate towards the products that they feel like agree with them. And I feel like Glossier for a while was feeling mostly young. And this works with my skin so beautifully. This might be my new summer look because it's so easy to wear all day. It gets glossy or whatever throughout the day or it wears off the same way any makeup will, but it does it in a way that looks natural and agreeable with my skin. It keeps me glowing all day. It feels really secure. I think that the new Perfecting Skin Tint has a really nice, more locked in feeling instead of feeling like it just stays liquidy on top of the skin and then all the other makeup on top of it kind of feels liquidy or it soaks powder up or it just doesn't really communicate with powder products. This feels more like a makeup, not necessarily a high coverage makeup, but it still behaves a little bit more like a tinted moisturizer than a serum. So that said, the new cloud paint shades, I don't think either of these is a bad thing, but this surprised the heck out of me in that I just don't think it's for pale girls with warm undertones. I can't speak for anybody else necessarily, but you guys saw what happened. This looked just kind of like red mud on my face. It just did not agree. It made all of my natural redness in my skin, which I do typically like to embrace. It makes me look a little bit healthier. It helps camouflage my zits, things like that. This made those things look purple which is a new one on me. Because typically anytime I put something warm on my skin, it goes pink and then everything else just kind of blends together. This made everything turn cool <laughs> in contrast. So very surprising. This shade definitely isn't for me, but I do highly suggest going on to some of the other blogs and vloggers who are trying these products because everybody's different and we've all got different skin tones and different undertones. That's the beauty of it. So obviously this was created with a purpose in mind. It is for someone. I would definitely recommend going and checking out some more reviews. If you think that it's going to work for your skin, it just doesn't work for mine. However, oh my gosh, this surprised the heck out of me. 
I am going to use this tube all the way up. I could use it on my cheeks. I would happily use it on my eyes. I love how it looks on my lips. I have never been this excited about a cloud paint. I thought that Beam was good. Beam was always good. It's just a very nice kind of coral shade when you put it on the skin. And it has a little bit of an orange undertone to it, so it kind of agreed with me. But this is a true watercolor, wash of color, texture, and the, the actual shade itself is so gorgeous. It just shears out so beautifully. It really pulls, I think, the most flattering tones out of my skin instead of being, again, very orangey red. It's a really nice kind of like burgundy aubergine mauve. It has mauve undertones. It's got a little more blue in it than I thought that I would like. This is brilliant. This is really, really good. So if you're a real pale girl and you have kind of similar undertones to me and your lips kind of pull a little bit mauve, or you can typically see a little bit of veins underneath the skin, this is probably going to be a really, really good shade for you. I really like it. I'm saying really a lot, but I really like it. And then the gloss, I had tried this before I borrowed it from my friend Catherine at one point, and I have just always reached for other glosses because I like having a plumping property. But, I gotta agree, this is really, really pretty. It just can add that extra sheen to anything. And the texture is not what I expected. I was expecting it to be kind of oily and feel kind of like a Claire's lip gloss because it's just a clear lip gloss, but it has a really great consistency to it. It is actually a different consistency than a buxom lip gloss to me. It has more of a stay put kind of feeling to it. Like it almost, it's a weird thing to say, but it almost feels like it dries down. A gloss will never dry down. I don't want to give you guys any false impressions, but it feels like it is wet and then it, it hits a new viscosity where it just stops moving around, which is great. I really appreciate that. So I think that right now Glossier is truly at their best. They are doing amazing stuff right now. I'm super impressed. I've always liked their products. I've always appreciated their ingenuity and their innovation, but these are products that needed to exist. This shade is freaking unbelievable and I am going to be wearing it every day now. So guys, I hope that this helped you embrace and understand and get a better sense of the new products that are coming out from Glossier. I'm going to keep you guys, as always, abreast of these things. Full disclosure, I am a rep with them so you guys can get 20% off of your first order on Glossier using the link below. It is glossier.com forward slash reps forward slash khaki. Again, 20% off. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy me kind of introducing you to the new Glossier products as they come out, give this video a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. Leave me a comment below letting me know what you thought of this. I'm sure it evoked some thoughts from you guys watching that shade not really work on my skin or watching this shade work well on my skin surprisingly or the new perfecting skin tint is it enough coverage to qualify for someone who didn't like the old one just let me know your thoughts down below guys if you are new and you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel guys hit the button down below and subscribe i would love it if you did thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye